My name is Whitney Crushell and I'm a PhD student in the School of Renewable Natural Resources at Louisiana State University. I'm studying how flooding influences tree species composition and in particular I'm looking at tree regeneration. Regeneration is basically the reproduction of trees and the establishment of new individuals. These ecosystems are very unique because they support a high diversity of both plants and wildlife, and many of which are dependent upon these ecosystems for most of their habitat. In the lower Mississippi River floodplain, there used to be approximately 24 million acres of forested wetlands, but most of that has been lost due to land conversion. And as a result, most floodplains don't flood the way they would have historically. And consequently, we're seeing a shift in tree species composition from more flood tolerant tree species to less flood tolerant tree species. This is an overcup oak acorn. Uh, you can see it's just beginning to sprout. The seeds of this species are unique because they float. That is an adaptation that the species has to disperse its se seeds within flooded territories. I have over 100 seedling plots that I monitor every two weeks to document seedling emergence, growth, and mortality. We understand that this change in tree species composition is related to either the elimination of flooding, the reduction of flooding, or just a change in the overall flood regime of the floodplain. But we don't know specifically what mechanism is driving this change. My hypothesis is that these changes are related to seedling survival, which is why I'm studying seedling survival in these forested wetlands and how it relates to the hydrology. This is one of our groundwater monitoring wells. It's two meters deep and it's equipped with long, a long-term data logger. It takes a reading every 30 minutes and we leave it out here for multiple years and it'll be able to capture the flood signature of the floodplain. And we use this then to understand the flooding regime of the floodplain and how that might affect regeneration and seedling survival and ultimately the tree species composition of the floodplain. Ah! I just like got for it, but I'm too timid. I think I saw people there.